Hey, Taurus, what's up, y'all? Happy motherfucking December. Welcome to your December 2020 tarot reading. Um, we're switching things up for you today, so this is about to be spicy and juicy. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Remember to hit the like button. Of course, subscribe. It's the, the best way of giving back. I would really, really appreciate it, um, as, long as, as well as uh, sharing these videos. If something resonates for you, that means it'll for sure resonate for somebody as well. Um, leave a comment. Um, I work really hard on these readings and, and sometimes when, you know, sometimes when, um, you know, I go to look at it, it's, it, it helps me to, um, want to continue doing the readings in the manner that I'm doing them. And it makes me feel, um, appreciated. So when you drop a heart, you take a minute to just leave a comment. I appreciate it very much. Um, I do additional readings on my Instagram page at grateful underscore Drake every Tuesdays and Fridays. So when you can, when you can catch a free reading, why the hell not? Um, as well as if you want to book a private reading, uh, hit me up in my DMS at grateful underscore Drake as well. And I'll get back to you and we can set that up there. Uh, remember to check your moon and rising sign readings, especially if you start watching this and you feel like it's not resonating, uh, it means your readings are elsewhere. Okay, Taurus, let's get into your reading. Thank you for being here. Wow, guys. So I'm using these chakra cards. Um, and you guys got... Four out of five third chakra cards. Uh, third chakras are the shirt. The third chakra. Third chakras. Like we have hella third chakras. The third chakra relates to uh, your sense of uh, willpower, uh, your sense of joy. It's located right here underneath your breastbone. Um, it's about um, connecting to who we are as human beings like what does that look like who am i who is alex and what does that mean um and it's really about our joy so um for a lot of yellow to come out for you guys shows that you're probably either stuck here or you're doing a lot of work here okay you're beginning to find more joy in your life you're beginning to understand who you are as a human being not so much as a spiritual being but how you show up in the world, what you present to the world. Okay. So, um, first card we have is facade. Hmm. Interesting. So what's going on in your life? What feels like a facade? What is a facade? A facade is like something that, uh, looks like it's there, but it's really not right. Let's look it up in the dictionary. Taurus facade. Facade meaning. Here's the definition of facade, the face of a building, especially the principal front that looks onto a street or open space. Okay, that's one. An outward appearance that is maintained to conceal a less pleasant or credi creditable, credit, creditable, credible reality. So putting on a front, right? So what's going on there? We're looking for enlightenment, Taurus. So no longer hiding behind something that's not actually true okay so you're seeking enlightenment um and their center card is the root chakra card um and the key word for this is acceptance so what went on for you as a child um, when you were really young uh that was um possibly somebody didn't give you the acceptance or approval that you needed in order to thrive as a child okay so some of these issues within your third chakra, uh, within your sense of uh, willpower and sense of self, have come back to um, childhood and your roots, okay? Um, you're hoping for a miracle, and there's abundance coming in. It feels like you're doing some pretty cool work, actually, okay? Let me pull these first, Taurus. Let me layer these first. Also, your path to enlightenment 
is it a cover up for something else? Are you dealing with people where they're using their spirituality or enlightenment as a way to show up in a certain way that's actually not completely authentic or genuine to themselves? Okay, what are you hoping for? What is it you're trying to, who are you trying to gain the acceptance or approval from? Okay, you're probably hoping for some kind of a miracle and looking for more abundance in your life, Taurus. So how are you presenting yourself to the world? What does your anger or aggression, what does it cover for? Does it in some way cover for kind of the softness or the vulnerability that's beneath the surface, I'm wondering? aggression deep down not even deep down but we're all incredibly powerful beings right that can manifest anything that we want however sometimes we have to use a certain disposition or um per, it's a cover-up right some sort of anger or aggression Sometimes our um, what's what's showing up here is we have Page of Swords, which is reversed on top of Enlightenment. So this is a story about um, an inability to communicate our needs, an inability an inability to communicate in general. This may even be um, a cut, a being cut off from communication from somebody, possibly a mother figure. Okay. There's an immaturity in how we communicate, which is blocking our enlightenment. Um, there's a sense of lack of security and safety that's happening for us as well, that I think roots back to our past, okay? Back to our, our youth, maybe, okay? Who would not give us their acceptance or approval when we were young, which caused us to feel very out of touch, which caused us to feel very insecure and like, who do we latch on to? Who are we without this acceptance? All right, we're looking for a miracle. The miracle is to no longer feel like we're trapped within our thoughts or trapped within our own perspectives, okay? There's this kind of sense of needing freedom. Seems to be a lot of feeling like we're, we're carrying all the, the load on our own doing all the work by ourselves, okay? It's very tiring, okay? And we're hoping to bring in an abundance of help and people willing to be there for us, but we've got to be willing to accept that help, okay? We've got to be willing to accept the help. Uh, so anger... What are we mirroring with anger? Also, you got facade and mirror. So we use a cover up, a facade, to hide something, right? But in actuality, we learn that behavior from other people around us, right? We were mirroring some sort of something that we saw. And mirroring, mirroring doesn't have to be the same behavior. It can be the opposite behavior, right? We could have seen something when we were young that felt um, 
oh, like, I do not want to be like that, right? I do not want to be like that. Cut, 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 and take them off the top. So they want you to turn toward the earth and to get grounded, okay? Taurus, you are earth signs, okay? So Gaia, Gaia is the card that comes out here underneath enlightenment. So in order to rediscover who you are or to get grounding, they want you to spend time out in nature. Kind of naturally where Taurus, where you come from is the earth, right? We all come from the earth, but. growing up and needing acceptance from those that raised us and those who shaped us. Um, there was something that happened with those people growing up that um, made them unable to um, let down their guard, okay? There may even be a crossing of boundaries within relationships even though you're an adult, right? Parents can cross our boundaries now because they still treat us like we're, can, can sometimes will treat us like we're kids. So there may be some kind of line you need to draw in the sand and, and make those boundaries. Um, there's a miracle that wants to pop through for you, um, but you're gonna have to find the vision again. Look at how these cards look alike, that's wild. Okay, look at the Eight of Swords. Kind of look at the, um, let me get my head out of there and it'll focus, I think. Okay, and look at the crown on her head. Focus. Oh, Lord. To me, it looks like the swords that are surrounding her, except for these are on top of her head, right? It's her crown, it's her tiara. These, these both come in the same column. So we're looking at, um, in order to find the miracle, we have to be able to envision what it is that we want first. So we begin daydreaming and envisioning what we want. And the and not so focus on how. The how will have us trapped in our thoughts. How can that possibly manifest? We just want to get going on the vision, on the what would it look like at the end, okay? Abundance, on top of abundance, you get authenticity. So they're, they're telling us that it's important for you to be more and more yourself as the days pass. You really, really want to strive to be yourself more than anything. Of course. Taurus. Love, love, love comes under facade. So how have we been using love relationships as well to mask other parts? Like have we used relationships as well? Have we used relationships to cover those kind of raw feelings? Because when we're alone and not in love relationships, it kind of forces us to have to look at aspects of ourselves that are Ooh, kind of creepy and kind of uncomfortable. Like, fuck. I actually got to be alone with this girl all day. So there's some sort of mask here. Okay. Enlightenment. Okay, victim consciousness comes under enlightenment. So we're just becoming aware, becoming aware of those areas of ourself that, you know, when we feel sorry for ourselves. Okay? Accepting. How teachable are you? How teachable are you? Maybe when we were kids, uh, our parents... Uh, maybe it's almost like um, we've grown up and we see our parents have stayed the same. And when it comes time for us to point things out to our parents, um, they... <laughs> 
they don't seem to be teachable at all, but um, they've been trying to teach us and, and impart their um, will onto us since we were kids. Miracle Taurus. Uh, underneath Miracle, you get self-love. I want you to love yourself. Start there and work your way out. Abundance. Have faith. So there's something really coming in, but you got to have faith in the process. All right. There may have even been situations in the past where people have, have, have hurt you, have betrayed your trust in relationships, okay? And um, it, it's not good to stay in those situations, obviously. We want to take care of ourselves and put ourselves first. But now that we're out of those situations, we're free to make new choices. How teachable are you then, okay? Are you able to take those lessons and... Um, and find the lessons for yourself. Not only are we pointing the finger at other people and being like, you did this to me, you did that to me. But then how can you, back to yourself in a kind way, <clears throat> how can you learn? What lessons have you learned from those relationships? Okay, big, big, big focus here is self-love. They're wanting you to focus on yourself and have faith on the, in the process. Um... But self-love is first. Start in and work your way out, friend. Okay. Taurus, Taurus. Let's put these away here, actually. this way how that would be okay let's cut 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 shall we cut 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 straight from the top Ooh, there we go yeah so on the same column that you got Gaia you got earth um, that's the same column with enlightenment so they're really wanting you to spend time outside and get in touch with nature again. Utilize logic, reason, and common sense. So once we get outside, oh, yeah, Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus has the, our, our signs here as well. So we find grounding outdoors, okay? There's something showing up here that's very, like, mystical about you, Taurus. You have the mystic circle, earth, the night, the unicorn, and the minstrel. Let your intentions be known. So, within your circle, or within your practices, things that you're dedicated to, things that you believe in wholeheartedly, that you, that you give your time and energy to, um, they want your intentions, you got to be clear, right? I feel like I just dreamt about this card, which is interesting. So you really want to be clear on what it is you're trying to achieve within your practices, within what you're doing, because we can have these kind of underlying intentions and two years down the line, we have something manifest that we didn't really, we weren't thinking it, that's what we wanted. We're a little bit unclear, having intentions based out of something else. Like, let me think of an example. I'll use myself. I keep saying, I don't want to get married. 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 I don't need a fucking half. I don't, I don't, I don't need another baby. I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married. Because I'm a little bit jaded, 
from my past, right? But I caught myself saying that and I was like, you know, that you might want to be careful with that because maybe, yes, I feel burned from the past, but it's probably not a good idea to like that be my mantra because you just never know. I could be blocking like the perfect match for me, the match that would want to be married. And shit, if I had the perfect match then that, that could rock with me, then, then maybe I But you know what I'm saying? So just, just being really clear with our intentions. Underneath miracle, you get the unicorn, good fortune and friendship. Okay. You also have the mystic circle here. So we're looking at like just you having this kind of abundance that surrounds you. Underneath acceptance, you get the knight. So it shows you being courageous and, and, and moving forward with painful areas of your life perhaps where you aren't accepted and charging through them and getting through them um yeah Taurus Sun, or rising, Taurus, please. Okay, that was a lot. Mm. Spirituality, domestic harmony, individuality, completion, teaching and learning. So within your relationships, finding harmony and balance, there's a key to your relationships or how you engage in relationships and partnerships where spirituality is really at the core. Um, and if we can kind of bring a balance of that spiritual, spiritual grounding, doesn't mean I'm not telling you be religious. Um, if that is part of your spiritual grounding though, then yes, that is what it is for you. But there's this beautiful piece of relationships that sometimes gets left out we forget about how uh we are first spiritual beings living a human incarnation so if we can bring that peace into our relationships they'll bring more harmony okay um where in your life do you express your individuality do you express your individuality what makes you you what makes you tick um, it's interesting because this card is also a red card that came in the center. So we're looking at rooting and what were we told as children about who we were when you expressed yourself and were wild and carefree, were you hushed? You know what I'm saying? Um, and completion, you guys got completion. So there's some cycle kind of wrapping up and coming to an end, um, where a lot of teaching and learning is available. Maybe even teaching and learning is something that really makes you tick, like really excites you. Taurus. Just checking on time. Y'all ever seen this? I've discovered that. I want to tell you. When I used to be a, a, a checker at the register, counting money. That's what that's really for, for counting money. But I was like, ooh, I need that for my cards. Counting all those dollar bills, you know what I'm saying? Counting all those dollar bills. Okay. You do have the strength to go through whatever is going on right now because it feels like there's some relationship. You know, I always assume relationship. 
there's something going on with somebody in your life. Okay, and I guess if it's somebody in your life, that would be somebody you're in relation to. Okay, there's somebody in your life, King of Cups is reversed. This could be an element of yourself, however, Taurus. Um, this is just emotional instability, okay, and, and feeling a fear of not having that family situation that you were hoping for. Uh, maybe even feeling fear of not having children, or perhaps there's something going on in your personal life with your children, and there's some kind of you got to let go or, or leave, and you're not wanting to actually let go or leave. And rising please, of course. Oh, Six of Cups comes out twice. Okay, Six of Cups is our childhood children, children in our lives, our childhood, our roots, vulnerability, healing, purity, innocence, okay? So look at around this childhood card, the Six of Cups, on either side we have these heavy sword cards, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, just heavy in our mind, very much in our head, very much in our head, too much thinking, too much going back to the past, uh, weighing us down, um making us feel completely done, depleted, dead, no energy left. Okay, so there's a lot of pain that's showing up here. Um, above, when I pulled your, initially pulled these five cards, I, I it was looking for, um, above when I pulled these five, they all came reverse except for one. The one that came upright was the strength card, the card of Leo, okay? This tells us, this is the predominant message. This is what's really trying to get my attention. This is what spirit really wants me to convey to you is that you have the strength to get through this. You have the strength. You can do it. You, there is something you have to release. You have to let something go. You have to let something go. What do you need to let go? You have to let something go. What needs to be released, please, for Taurus? You have to let go of the fact that you don't know how that how it's going to end. That you don't know what the outcome is. Okay? You have to take better care of yourself. You have to rest more. Um, there's something that's being planted at this time. There's this new beginning that's happening for you that's going to have a really rich payoff. But you're not going to know in the, in the process, you're not going to understand all of why it's happening. And you're not supposed to. Okay, that's kind of the mystery of life, right? You're supposed to have faith and move into it. But you need to get more rest and you need to it's, it, have more faith, okay? I know, easier said than done, friend. I know, I'm going through something right now, too. Where I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all better... Y'all better help me now, because I'm starting to lose faith. Never, never, never. Of course. One last message. Meditation. They want you to get quiet. They want you to do some meditation, okay? Um, easy does it as well. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me detach, retreat, and let go so that healing can occur. Okay, definitely want you to let go of something. Uh, dear Archangel Raphael... Please meditate with me and guide my mind and body to focus upon peace, health, and wellness. Okay, trying to use the singing bowl, Stella. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Happy motherfucking December. I hope you guys are doing well. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. I love you guys, and I appreciate you for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, y'all.